We've all been there. You finished your prototype or demo scene, and now it's time to build the next game level. You add in all the right prefabs, push play, and it doesn't run correctly. Something isn't connected or some values aren't quite right. Or maybe you work on a team where the programmer and the level designer aren't the same person. You hand off the code or a prefab to the designer, and they don't set it up quite right or use a value that won't work with the code. And this is where the Odin Project Validator comes in and makes the development of your project easier and smoother. To get started with the Project Validator, it's as simple as opening the Project Validator Manager from the Tools menu and selecting the scope of the scan. The editor will show which validator is being used for the current scan, then press the green button on the top right to start the scan. You'll be prompted to save the scene if any unsaved changes exist in your project. When the scan is complete, all the objects with errors are shown on the top left, and the messages associated with the errors are shown on the bottom. Clicking on either the object or the message will bring up the inspector for the component that has the error. This also allows you, the developer, to fix the error immediately without having to change windows or search through the hierarchy. In my case, the project validator has found numerical values that are incorrect and several objects that are missing in various inspectors. These can all be easily and quickly fixed. The project validator also has buttons at the top to ping or to select the object with the errors. This lets you easily find them in the hierarchy if you need a little more context to understand the error. Validation can also be done automatically. Clicking on the Automate Validation button will show three options. You can choose to run the project validator on Play, on Build, or on Project Startup. Under each of these options, you can change the actions taken when an error or warning is found, as well as change which validator profiles run. For example, if I select the option On Play and then try to enter play mode, the project validator will scan the open scene and then will prevent the game from going into play mode and present the errors that it found. Now, if you're sitting there saying, this looks useful, but how much work is it to set up? It isn't much, but it does take a small bit of effort. The built-in validators rely on the use of Odin attributes to validate fields. Uses of attributes such as required, scene objects only, and child game objects only are easily added to the code and will get checked by the project validator. Custom conditions can also be created with the validate input attribute. Conditions for the validate input are added as strings and need to evaluate as booleans. This means you can use Boolean fields, but c -sharp statements are likely more useful and can be checked as well. They simply need an at symbol put in the front, and Odin will do the rest of the work. Functions that return a Boolean can also be used by putting the name of the function in quotes. Custom conditions can be used to ensure that values for a field are within a particular range, or even check that a game object has a particular component attached to it. If you can write the code and it returns a Boolean, then that code can be used to validate a field. Pretty slick and a huge time saver. It is also possible to create custom validators that can validate fields without the use of attributes. For example, you could check the values of strings throughout your project to make sure they are not blank. If you want to learn more about how to do this, check out the links in the video description below. We'll also be doing a video in the future showing how to do this, so make sure you're subscribed and you don't miss it. So you might be asking, how do you get the project validator? If you bought Odin Inspector before May 28th, 2019, you can download it for free. Otherwise, the Odin Project Validator is a paid add-on to the Odin Inspector. Either way, it's currently available exclusively from the Odin Inspector website, and there are links in the video description below. All in all, the Project Validator is easy to use and can be a significant time saver in the development of your project, especially for teams or projects that will get developed over longer periods of time. If you have questions or comments about the Project Validator, make sure to visit the DevDog Discord or leave a comment below. So until next time, happy game designing.